I'm in here. I'm here at Ever After Chapel today, holding this service. We've had a prayer service, and we are coming forward today with power and anointing to speak into your lives today. Speak in the fullness of the Holy Ghost. God made us a speaking spirit. He made us in His image. How are we in the image of God? With a speaking spirit. We are made in order and able to speak. Speak the Word of God. God created the world by the words of His mouth. He created the earth, the world, the universe. When He spoke, let there be light. He wants us to get a clue in the church today. You know, you hear these things that uh, people say, well, you don't have to say a word. Just live and be an example of Christ. Well, you know, that's not true. That's a lie from the head of hell. Because there's not one perfect person. The only perfect person that lived on planet Earth was Jesus Christ. And the reason he came is because we were imperfect people, imperfect vessels. So I just encourage you today to speak. You know, we're going to let people down because we're not perfect. The word says, be ye perfect even as our Father in heaven is perfect. That means to grow up spiritually, become spiritually perfect. That doesn't mean that that we're not ever going to sin anymore, but the Holy Spirit convicts us when we sin and we repent. That's how you become perfect, spiritually perfect. But we need to get the mind of Christ and start speaking the word of God. So today I speak into your life to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost today. Be born again. Be water baptized. Be filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. You have to use that tongue to, to speak to God. He'll give you a heavenly prayer language. I'm building up my most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So I speak to you today to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I lay hands on you today in Jesus' name to be filled with the Holy Ghost and power with the evidence of speaking in tongues. The Bible says to tarry till you receive power from on high and then go out and minister. So I pray to you today, pray for you today, and I speak to you today to receive the Holy Ghost and start speaking into the lives of other people. Speak the Word of God. Speak the kingdom of God into their lives. Advance the kingdom of God by the words you speak. In Jesus' name, be blessed today.